um, full glam makeup look and I'm also going to go over how I curl my hair. I really just wanted to get on here and be creative. I love um, like pageant glam and that's kind of like my goal today. I don't really want to go over the top but I still want it to be like glam and pretty just that pageant look. I have a photo shoot today with Bubba Jane's Boutique and I'm super excited because I have some exciting things happening with them this summer. Um, so stay tuned for that, but life has been a little bit hectic lately. I've been coming home, um, traveling for weddings, I went on a vacation, so I really apologize that I haven't been on here and been super um, active, but I promise you there's things to come this summer and I just want to keep giving y'all content. I plan on being super, super present and active on here, um, so I just hope y'all enjoy this video and please like and subscribe. Without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prep my eyes and I'm gonna do my eyes first because I don't really want any fallout or anything like that. Like, you just have to clean it up and that means taking foundation off and it's just not fun. So, I'm gonna prep my eyes. I do have eyelash extensions. I go to a local girl here. I will tag her below so y'all know who she is. I love my lashes. I get the classic set. Um, I love these for summer because like I have no makeup on right now and I just feel like they just, I don't know, they just help, you know. Okay, so I'm going to use the Makeup by Mario um, setting palette. Like it, it has like a, um, you can set your eyes with it kind of like a concealer. So I'm going to set with this and then set with the powder right here. Not set, but prime. And I'm just going to take this brush, this little brush, I don't know if you can see it. Okay, well, it's right here. So I'm just going to take this and prep my eyes for shadow. I prep my eyelids because if you don't, then your shadow is just not going to look good. And it's not going to stay. I probably say this in every video that I film but never post. But it's really just not going to stay. And my eyelashes look bad right now because I have not brushed them. Um, so I apologize for that. But Okay, we're back. You kind of have to warm this up a little bit. I don't know that I love this. I've tried it a couple times. So we're going to try it again because, you know, why not? But I don't know. Like, it looks good on camera, but... So I've been really busy with weddings lately and I feel like it's draining me. Um, it's just kind of like I'm in that stage where I am 21 years old. I have a lot of weddings and it's like a real job, which is fine. Real jobs are great and I love to work, but I'm at that point where it's like on the weekends I'm working and I, I, like weddings are just so tiring to me because I spend a lot of energy wondering like, if I did well, like if they liked everything I did and that can get kind of stressful for me. So yeah, I'm just a little busy right now, which is fine. And I'm really blessed and thankful to be busy in a season where like last year, COVID just took everything away from everyone. So I'm really, really blessed. I'm just very, very tired. Blessed and tired. Okay, and I'm just blending that out with a beauty blender so it doesn't look as like harsh. And then I'm going to take this banana powder on here and then just set my eyelids with it. Like I said, I just don't know about this yet. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. So we're just seeing where it goes. I have not put eyeshadow on with my lashes since I got my lashes put on and it's been almost two weeks. Okay, so right here you're going to dab not swipe we do not swipe it's okay if they come out a little bit because i've been at the beach and you know so if we swipe it like takes the product off that you just put on so you really just want to like dab the powder into it So next, I'm going to go in like a purpley eye just because I want it to be really glam. So I'm going to start with the Natasha Denona Glam Palette. Um, mine's really dirty, sorry. But I'm going to start with this and I'm going to use like colors like this. So we'll see 
where this goes. I really don't have a plan with this video. I just want to go with it and I hope y'all enjoy it because I get a little nervous on camera. Like I'm, I, I'm sweating right now. Okay. So I'm just going in and blending out into the crease. See that? Okay. So I'm just kind of like bronzing my eyeball up a little bit. See, I forget to talk, so then I just end up doing like a voiceover because I'm like, I really do have a personality, so I don't understand why this is so hard to me. It's like talking to a wall is just not my thing. Okay, and this is like a huge fluffy brush. I just wanted to go in and go ahead and get that transition shade in there. You do not have to use like a huge fluffy brush like this, but I wanted to. I'm gonna go in with the, I really want like purple tones, so I went in with some brown. And now I wanna go in with the Tardius Pro palette. I love this palette because it has a bunch of purple tones. And I actually got gifted this by a friend my 18th birthday and I've used it like ever since. So, I'm going to take no filter from the Tardis Pro palette and just blend that into the crease as well. It is hard for me to see like what's going on with my lashes. Looks kind of awful right now, not gonna lie. But as you blend, it starts looking better. And let me put sparkle on. Duh. Okay. So, okay. Now I'm going in with this little brush, and it is a Morphe M433. It is great for like going in here. Like on the side to like pat in so i'm gonna pat in the color mod or mode whatever it's mod so mod um and i'm just going to pat this in right here to blend this out a little bit it's like a more pink color like a mod Kind of like patting and then swiping just a little bit in like windshield wiper motions. And I just want to remind y'all like when you're doing your eye makeup, it doesn't always have to look perfect like as you go. I have a hard time, like I'm very hard on myself about eyes and like once the finished product is done, it looks amazing and I don't know why I was so hard on myself. And I feel like that's a lot of like filming on YouTube. Like I get so frustrated because I feel like I have to have this like, I have to be perfect on here. And like, that's just not the case. Like I'm gonna keep growing, I don't know. Like I'm just very hard on myself and I really like don't need to be because I mean, So I think that's all I want on my eyes, not gonna lie. Because I don't wanna go too heavy and I think it looks great. Plus I'm gonna put some sparkles on. So I really don't feel like I need that much more. And I feel like once, when my eyes are heavier, I look like too heavy, if that makes sense. So now I'm just gonna go in with this color from the Natasha Denona palette. And I'm gonna take a flat brush this is the Anastasia 18 brush, and I'm just gonna go in with that sparkle. Right in the inner corner, and like pat it in right here. And I'm just gonna let it like blend in. I 
I usually do like a powdered liner, but I'm not going to because I have my lashes, so. Okay, so I went in with the sparkles. They look good to me. So I'm gonna start on my favorite part in a minute, which is face makeup. So, now I'm going to clean up my eyes underneath with um, Meissler water. Yes, the Garnier Meissler water. And this is just so I get everything out from underneath my skin, or out from underneath my eyes, not my skin. My skin's all over my face. I feel like it's a little harsh out here in these parts, so I'm gonna blend that out a little bit. Is this camera not unreal? Good content coming, guys. Okay, so I'm cleaned up. I feel good about it. Let's look again. I wish I could tell y'all what this shoe is for, but I'm not going to because I have a whole video coming about it and I'm gonna keep my mouth shut. Okay, let me take the swamps back because it's been a minute. Next, we are gonna go in with foundation and this is my favorite part because I love face makeup. I'm, I'm definitely a face makeup kind of girl. So I'm gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation, shade six neutral and shade seven neutral. I'm mixing this because I'm self tanned and I just know that six is gonna be a little too light, seven's gonna be too orange. So I'm gonna mix them, but first before I do foundation, I'm gonna prime my face with Willetta Skin Food. It's really, really good for a really dry skin which I feel like I'm kind of almost there. I mean, I don't have super, super dry skin, but I don't have, I definitely just spit in the camera. Um, I don't have like hydrated skin either, which is weird because I drink a gallon of water a day, but whatever. Uh, but you can see how like, okay, it kind of looks oily, but it really, 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 it really, really, really makes me, my makeup and other clients makeup stick really well. So, It really is not oily, like it doesn't make anybody shine. Like if you put a mattifying foundation on it, it really is great, like, you know. They also have a light version though, so if you really are oily, just, you know, get the light version. Um, you can find it at Target. And then I'm gonna take the Laura Mercier Hydrating Primer and just a little bit and put that on top of the skin food. A wedding this weekend and next weekend. I'm really excited about it. I'm excited to be creative and it's just fun. And I love meeting bridal parties. It's so fun to me. So I'm just mixing these two colors and then I dab it on my face. And I'm gonna use a beauty sponge because I used to like use a brush all the time and now I'm a beauty sponge gal. Remember to get your ears and always go down your neck. I look a little orange right now, but I promise it'll look better. Also, this foundation is very, very, like, I, I think it's very full coverage, but it looks like butter on the skin. Crazy, right? 
So we're gonna go in and cream contour with the RCMA um, foundation palette. And I'm just gonna use this brush and put it along here. Doesn't look like I'm really putting any on, does it? And then I'm gonna go on my forehead. I just get so sweaty when I do my makeup on camera because it's like, uh, like this one, I'm really, oh my God. Now I'm taking this Real Techniques brush and just gonna blend it out by patting it in. I'm just really patting that in, like stippling it in. I just think that this looks pretty under the bronzer or anything, and I'm just gonna stipple a little bit more in. I always feel like there's a hair on my face when I do this, and there's not. Okay, so now that that's all in, I'm going to um, highlight under my eyes and I don't really do my nose so we'll see how that goes but here and I'm just using the Tarte Shape Tape in light neutral for that. I love a bright under eye. You can always do like a more a color closer to your um, shade. But that is just not me. And I'm gonna take what's left and go up my nose and on my forehead. I'm going to blend that out a little bit. I don't want it to be like too harsh over here. Love it. Okay. So now I'm going to take the Kylie Jenner um, setting powder in soft pink. I like a little pink undertone. Under I know that sounds crazy because I'm not really like a pink. Like, I, don't, I like yellow undertones, but we're gonna try this. Because I really like the Huda Beauty um, setting powder that's in Cupcake, I think. So I'm gonna try this. We're just gonna go under the eyes and dab that in and then on my nose wow okay and then right here on my forehead and then i'm gonna do my chin too and right here because i sweat really bad on my upper lip it's like already blurring so well um next I'm gonna wipe off my hands. I don't know why, but I cannot stand the feel of makeup on my hands, which is really weird for like a makeup artist to say that. But next I'm gonna use the Bare Minerals Pro um, powder. It's called Bare Pro. And then it's like this tan shade powder. And I'm just gonna take a big powder brush, 
like this and go where I have foundation. Even over the bronzer, I'm just not gonna go where I set with that powder. I don't wanna like unbrighten my eyes. So, we're gonna do this. You just set the face. This is honestly as, as important as setting spray because if you put a liquid foundation on and you don't set it with powder, you can do it lightly if you like a more glowy look, but it's not gonna stay if you don't do the step. So now I am going to take the bronzer and the first thing we're going to take is the Cheek Stars Reunion Palette and I'm going to take the Benefit Hula Bronzer from this, um, this little bronzer brush from Morphe, Morphe M405 and I'm just going to take this and go in where I put my cream bronzer. Now I'm also going to take this Real Techniques Big Fluffy Brush and I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in Mocha and I'm just going to go in lightly with like that and go over that and bronze it up. So now that that's done, I'm also gonna go in with this um, Cover F Cover FX blush in Mojave Mauve, I think is what it is. And I'm gonna take this angled brush and just go in with both shades and go up with it. Oh my, my cheekbone. I literally just said, oh my God. Almost said, oh my God. And I just dab that into. I love a lot of blush. Some people don't. I do. I will look like a clown for all I care. Okay. And next, I'm going to take the Dior highlighting palette. And I'm just gonna take a highlighter brush by Morphe and blend those all and highlight. And then I'm going in with my Fave, the Cookie by Benefit highlight. Now I'm gonna go in with a, a little brush and just go in and highlight my inner corners. And under my eyebrow, I'm gonna do those in a minute. But yeah, that's so pretty, okay. Next, I'm going to go back in with the Kylie powder and just dab my sponge in again and bake under here. contour and then I'm just gonna wipe that off. I don't like letting it bake long because I have a hard time getting the powder all the way back off. So. Okay. I love it. Okay. Now I'm gonna do my brows off camera because I tend to get frustrated and I don't wanna get frustrated on camera, but I'll come back and do my lips on camera and my setting spray for y'all. 
Okay, so I'm back. I just did my eyebrows. They're a little bold, but I want them bold because my makeup's bold today. Um, I used the NYX um, Lift and Snatch in blonde, and I also used the L'Oreal Brow Definer. I'll link everything below that I used on everything. But yeah, my brows are a little thick, but it's okay. Um, and then now I'm gonna do my under eye. So I'm gonna go in with the Patrick Star palette from, it's one of his collections with MAC. Um, and I just wanted to go in with like a light purple. And I'm gonna take like a little brush like this and just go underneath. Now, I'm gonna go in with my lip color. Um, I'm definitely gonna need to do some mascara underneath my eyes, but I don't really have any right now, so it's good. Um, anyways, so my brows are done. I'm gonna go with my lip color. So I'm using the Kylie Lip Kit. I'm using the color Kylie, and it's the matte lip with the lip liner that goes with it in Kylie. bold but I feel like this photo shoot is like spring and summer so I need like a bolder lip. gloss on over it I'm gonna put the um, NYX butter gloss on in fortune cookie this gives it a little bit more of a nude like takes away some of the pink so we will see I usually get like stuff on my teeth when I do a liquid lip so we'll see I just don't like the matte feel so I completely forgot to show y'all what I'm setting my face with I'm setting it with the makeup revolution um, infinite mattifying longwear matte makeup fixing spray it's 16 hour wear so I'm just going to spray my face or drench it whatever you call it hi everyone I'm back and I'm gonna curl my hair for y'all it was requested um I'm not putting my extensions in for this photo shoot which is kind of crazy for me um, but I'm going to go in with the Hot Tools One Inch Wand. Um, I got this from Ulta a couple Christmases ago, I think. And I'm just going to curl my hair on camera for y'all. So I just take a piece like this and I go like away from my face. But I also have been leaving a little bit out since that's kind of trendy right now. So that's what I'm going to do for this um, photo shoot. So I just wanted to give y'all the method. There's really, I'm not really good at hair. I don't it's not my forte but i'm just gonna show y'all how i do it because it was requested and i also am pretty good at like big wavy bouncy curls um i could put my extensions in and show y'all that one day too if that's something that y'all are interested in please comment below
dry shampoo. Take it. Even if your hair's clean. Basically use it as hairspray. Okay, and then I run my fingers through. I really like to have that little hair. And I don't know that this is cutting it, so I might get back over these two. Oh, I can just feel the dry shampoo in it. Okay. Okay. There we go. Okay. You can see that looks fine. I don't know what I was worried about. Oh, who is she? 